Hi guys, this is Aditi and welcome back to the Circle of Life Tarot. I want to begin by saying a big thank you to everybody who has supported my work, who has subscribed to my channel, who leave me uh, a comment and constructive positive feedback. It really encourages me and keeps me motivated to bring uh, out new videos for all of you. If there is anything specific that you need me to read for you, uh, please do let me know and I'll try my best to get out uh, those videos. Um, I also have a daily message of the day on my Instagram page. If you have not already seen that, I would really urge you to go ahead and have a look. I do put out very positive, uh, assertive messages, which I hope will help you all to start the day in the right way. Uh, from this month onwards, I want to begin with a <coughs> general and love reading uh, for all the signs. And uh, let's begin with what's in store for my friends who have their sun, moon, rising and Venus in uh, Taurus. All right. So let's see what's happening with uh, the Taurus right now. Archangel Michael, my guardian angels and the universe, Holy Spirit and the divine. Please give us the exact accurate messages which are for the highest good for my friends who have the sun, moon, rising and Venus in Taurus. Thank you. So let's see what's in store for Taurus. I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. What's in store? What's, what's going on with my Taurus right now? All right. Thank you. Moving on, we have the Six of Swords. So you all have moving on here. Moving on means uh, it's uh, in the traditional tarot, it is the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords and the moving on here, what I think is for most of my uh, Taurus friends, you all have decided to move to karma waters. You all have decided to leave what is not serving you and move ahead uh, to something that serves you better in life. This could mean work, a relationship, uh, bad habits, unhealthy lifestyle, anything that is not for your highest good is what you all have decided that you will move on, uh, leave it behind and move on. Number six also means reconciliation. It means harmony, it means realignment and also communication and cooperation. So I think this is a very positive uh, card to begin with. You all have decided to take control and move ahead and which is a good thing, isn't it? All right. What next? <coughs> Victory and success. You have six of swords which is lovely so um, victory and success here so once you have decided to take the reins of your life in your hands you've decided to leave what is uh, not serving you anymore you've decided to realign yourself uh, maybe follow your instinct follow uh, you know follow what has what the divine is asking you to do you are going to achieve victory and success it's again number six so you have six six you have uh, you know synchronicities that which is a positive sign here you are i think the main focus for you here is achieving harmony in your life uh, again number six for me is uh, moving ahead with uh, confidence Conquering what did not serve you in the past, overcoming what did not serve you in the past, giving your best to what needed to in the past and the results are victory, the results are success. Number six, uh, six of swords in the traditional tarot also means that you are really feeling good about yourself or you have people around you who really make you feel appreciated, who make you feel loved, who make you feel uh, that there's no one else. Uh, better than you in this world so uh, this is March seems to be a really lovely month for you guys okay what is next in store for my Taurus friends oops 
one please you have number two which is a major arcana <coughs> which is balance number two is the high priestess in the traditional tarot for me it means what what you will be achieving or what you would be going through is uh, inner wisdom um, you will feel very grounded you will feel that you are getting uh, you know messages from the divine you will be very intuitive during this time you will have psychic powers you will have um, basically all the tools with you to um, achieve what you need to achieve i want to see what is number two here because this looks like the magician to me but it is saying number two and balance so just let me very quickly uh, confirm that for you please <clears throat> but till up till now i think you have three fantastic cards now let's see what is number two here for oh i am so sorry is it number 11 what is this one minute okay what you have here is i'm not i'm sorry it's not number two it's number 11 which is justice uh, my bad here so i think what this card is saying is that uh, this card represents that you are in need for balance and harmony in your inner life and as well as what is happening inside of you and your world your world outside so this this is going to be a time where you are going to realign and readjust your uh, associations as far as love relationship business and career goes so i think this is going exactly uh, uh, perfectly for you because you have two number sixes here which means realignment which means moving to karma water which means uh, doing things which make you feel victorious which make you feel good about yourself and then you have the number 11 here which is a major arcana which means you are going to be learning major life lessons uh, during the month of uh, march and justice here again you could be dealing with the libra again and what you want to do is you want to commit yourself to what is fair and what is right wonderful so let's move on what more is it in store for my taurian friends what more is in store for my taurian friends thank you you have number 18 which is shadow here which is the moon again there is a again a major arcana here moon for me is um i think uh, you could be dealing with the pisces but again for me moon is a very i don't take moon as a negative card what i think of moon is an opportunity in your life to work on your shadow self an opportunity in your life to um get over your fears your uh, conquering your fears things that are you know pulling you down in life maybe some sort of depression some sort of sorrow and working with your shadow self things that don't serve you things that bother you things that cause you fear and anxiety those are the things that you will be taking time to address and to heal and with uh, moving on and victory and success i think you have decided to make march a month of uh, reinventing yourself of uh, pushing aside brushing aside keeping aside uh, whatever that does not serve you in your relationships within yourself and your surroundings so I think it's going to be a very powerful month uh, in your self-healing, self-discovery uh, March is going to be. One card please. And finally again a major arcana which is hope here. This is number 17 which is the star card. It adds up to 8. 8 is growth, 8 is accomplishment. Eight is for me profound 
positive change. In the traditional tarot, the star is uh, its peace, its healing, its hope, its reuniting, its reconciliation. Um, in this deck, it is hope. It is such a beautiful card. Whatever you wish for, whatever you are manifesting, whatever you are hoping is going to come to you in a very peaceful manner. So I think you, uh, I want to really, um, you know, I mean, kudos to you guys because I think you are going to be using your time very wisely in March. You are going to, uh, there is so much of self-growth that I see that is happening for you guys in March in your personal level within yourself and your surroundings. You are going to cut out all that is not going to serve you in this month and you are going to fight for balance. You are going to fight for what is right and just. You are going to make the effort to work on your shadow self and uh, heal from things that are uh, maybe stopping you from leading um, a life that you wish for and what you're going to get is your is uh, hope here that what you're wishing for is what you are definitely going to get you could be also uh, dealing with an Aquarius you have three major arcanas here so major life lessons that you would be learning uh, in March this is really really wonderful I am uh, very excited for you guys uh, I think uh, God only helps those who helps themselves the divine only helps those who help themselves and I think in the month of March you are really going to be focusing on yourself and I think no love is better love than self-love and I think that is what you all are exactly doing so let's see what is in store for love for my uh, Taurian friends Archangel Michael my guardian angels and the universe please give us exact cards for what is in store for our friends in love before that I want to pick out the uh, angel uh, romance angel messages for my Taurian friends all right three accurate messages for love for the month of March for my friends Sun Moon Rising and Venus it's Taurus all right so let's see what the romance angels have for you in love I think in love again you're going to be seeing transformation you're going to maybe see reconciliation maybe new love after you have moved on to karma waters uh, maybe you you will strike a balance and go back to an old love let's see what we have three cards please thank you what do we have in store for Taurus okay wow you have wedding this situation involves marriage you have Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. And you have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right. This is really nice. What I see uh, in love for my Torian friends is that uh, there they are a couple of scenarios here one is that you know um, after working on your shadow self after um, you know trying to balance out your life you are finally uh, moving on with victory and success towards your wedding so maybe you are already in a relationship um, you love this person and March is going to be a time where you are going to mentally and emotionally and maybe financially prepare yourselves to move on to finally proposing to your partner and getting married because you have the six of uh, six of swords here and the six of wands which is moving on and victory and success in this tarot deck so I feel that many of you guys would uh, either plan to get married or if not married I think you are ready to take your existing relationship to the next step so if you all are just you know uh, seeing dating each other you would probably want to make it exclusive or you'd want to get engaged or even maybe get married and uh, uh, propose and get married uh, is what you will want to do in 
the month of march so yeah congratulations to my uh, taurus friends who would be uh, finally taking the jump in getting married or you know um, taking your relationship to the next level um the other scenario i see here is that you are dealing with some some issues you know when you have the moon and the shadow se- uh, self and you have the balance i think you will you will heal and you will uh, also speak with your partner share with your partner what it is that is bothering you what it is that is maybe bothering you in the relationship you will have a heart to heart conversation with them you will honestly discuss your feelings with each other and i think that this will work out positively because you have the star card here you have hope so there is reconciliation and you will you know uh, make the right balance here the other message that we have is keep an open mind your soul mate may differ from your usual type and expectations so for those of you who are probably uh, not in a relationship or who are moving on to karma waters who have decided to uh, you know come out of a relationship that was not giving you any happiness you you are asked that in the month of march please keep an open mind uh, to the people that you are com- to the people who are coming into your life uh, for love and romance because they could not be your usual type but it's evident that they could be your soulmate so don't shut your doors and uh, uh, keep an open mind and ac- uh, try and see uh, don't shut yourself try and you know uh, see if you could uh, find the qualities uh if you could find qualities uh, in the other person that you like and uh, would want to get to know that person better all right so let's see what's in store for you people in love okay what is in store for taurus in love in the month of march believe and succeed again number 6 guys so communication cooperation harmony reconciliation realignment and victory is the theme for you guys for the month of march awesome so this is the six of uh wands in the traditional tarot so you have two six of wands here which is uh victory and success and believe and succeed so uh, what this card is saying is that if you have somebody in your life that you like uh maybe a new person or someone who is already in your past and you believe that you know this person could be the one um please believe and go ahead and propose to that person or at least let that person know what you're feeling because number 6 is about reconciliation number 6 is about communication number 6 is about harmony and peace all right so let's see this one wants to come out number 18 which is a major arcana which is confront which is again the moon you have number 18 here you have number 18 here this is amazing now number 18 um, it adds up to number 9 number 9 is wish fulfillment number 9 is uh, reaching fruition number 9 is manifestation this is amazing i'm stunned number 9 is Uh, you know the cop is is cooperation it's uh, um recuperation it's uh, i mean this is amazing you have number 6 you have 6 of swords 6 of wands twice and you have 6 of you have the moon twice which is number 9 everything is shouting out to reconciliation everything is shouting out to working on your shadow self working on your fears something is stopping you from going ahead in love um you know what it, what your story is but march is going to be the month where you are going to work on your shadow self you are going to get over your fear and you are going to uh, f- 
finally you know have the heart to heart conversation with your loved one and i see major reconciliation for people who have been you know who have been on a break with their partners i also see some of you who are unhappy in a relationship and who were afraid of you know uh, a breakup were afraid of not wanting to you know uh, break the person's heart and we're just continuing to be in the relationship for the sake of it you are going to probably cut ties and move on which i think is going to be very healthy for you all right now again a major arcana number 9 which says seek here and in the traditional tarot number 9 is hermit so to in love i think in order for you to move on move ahead leave probably uh, a unhappy relationship or to believe and succeed and go towards a relationship that you always wanted you are going to be asked to work on your shadow self you will work on your shadow self which is confront so you will confront and this is the mirror and you know you are looking at yourself in the mirror you are going to go inside yourself you are going to confront uh, your issues and you are going to deal with it because here again this is the hermit <clears throat> you could be dealing with a virgo here and hermit again for me is going inside trying to get enlightenment uh, also manifestation for me Uh, aligning yourself taking time out to see what serves you and uh coming back more calmer more assured more sure of what direction you want to take and probably following it so you have 1 2 3 five major arcanas and again a number 9 i'm i mean i'm not joking but this is going to be a big big month of transformation for you guys self healing self actualization um attaining what you want by overcoming your by overcoming your fears uh wow i am i'm at loss of words all right let's go ahead Oh, heart chakra guys you have number 4 heart chakra 4 for me is foundation 4 for, for me is stability 4 for, for me is structure and 4 for, for me is harmony when you talk of the heart chakra uh the green color is love it's balance it's again harmony it's again hope it's again peace it's again prosperity and it's again balance so each and every card is just kind of you know building towards uh making you realize that you are building towards a very strong structure and foundation for yourself because what the heart chakra is all about is healing which you are going to be doing when you work on your when you work on your shadow self which is the moon card here the heart chakra again speaks of hope which is the star card here and it says hope here um, the heart chakra also moves and also speaks about uh, peace and prosperity it talks about balance here you it it is showing that you know you are moving on towards success towards peace towards prosperity so guys this is awesome and again a major arcana which is heal which is number 17 in the traditional tarot um this card is uh, again the star card oh my god <laughs> i am totally totally shaken in in a good way uh guys for my torian friends um uh, march is going to be a a year full of self actualization don't um hold back don't uh 
don't stop yourself from listening to your intuition don't stop yourself from uh, wanting to move ahead uh don't give in to your fears because this year is you have two number 8s here and two star cards it is number 8 is the sign of infinity it's growth it's achievements it's profound positive change so i think uh this month for my torian friends is going to be uh in your general life i think this has more to do with uh, self healing uh, self correction self alignment uh, moving on from things that don't serve you in a very positive victorious way uh you have decided that you only want to do what is fair and right and just you will work on yourselves and there is a lot of hope in the future as when it comes to love there are a couple of scenarios here where some of you will work on your shadow self will believe in yourself and will open up with your heart chakra and will heal and eventually get married for those who are looking for love i think you are ready uh, your soulmate is waiting for you your soulmate could be someone different from what you usually have in mind but i think you will um be able to recognize your soulmate because you are ready you are aligned you have you know gone into the hermit mode and you have seeked the uh, knowledge from the divine you are manifesting your true love and your love is going to come to you you have two star cards you have two moon cards the entire reading resonates of excellent numbers which is number 6 number 8 and number 9 all speak of communication all speak of wish fulfillment hope harmony uh, reconciliation and positivity so all in all guys march is a wonderful wonderful month for you um major life lessons that you would be uh, learning in the month of march i i am amazed at this reading i have never come across readings where there are there is mirroring of uh similar cards in your uh, general life and your love life so uh be positive uh please you know like i end all my videos with is please keep your energies and vibrations high because what you focus on is what you will get and i think this is what is going to happen you, with you guys in march i couldn't be more happier for you if you like this video please give a thumbs up and i really want you all if this does resonate with you and by the end of march if you uh you know feel that you have worked on your shadow self and you have emerged a better person you have probably you know found your soulmate or a wedding is uh, in store for you guys please drop me a message i would love to hear from you so again as always please keep your energies and vibrations high what you focus on is what you will get um, i will see you again in the next video thank you